Good morning. This is the first video I've made in quite some time. This one is about breaking the traditions of man, breaking free from the traditions of man. One of the things that I see that's happening in the world today and has been happening for a long, long time is we've been, many people have become so conditioned in their minds and in their hearts by the traditions of man, whether it be the religious system, the political system, the economic system, the social system, everything is trying to condition our minds to believe a certain way. And I, I listen to other believers a lot. And, and there are so many things. It's not all even about what's being taught that's not accurate, not correct, not scriptural. But it's about what's not being taught, what's being left out. And anybody who's in Christ today that's had the veil lifted off of their eyes and God seems to lift it off a, a little at a time so that we're not overwhelmed with all the truth that we've missed, with all the lies that have been covered up. And as he lifts that veil and we begin to see truths that have been hidden, that have been left out, that have not been taught, whether biblical, whether political, whether economically, about our country, about the world, about the conflict going on in Ukraine. So many people don't even look at what brought us to this point, how we've been conditioned for our whole lives to believe a certain thing that's not true or a certain thing that lacks the truth to make it whole. And I'll give you a for instance, biblically. You know, right now, there is what could be described as gender wars going on in the earth. You know, and people talking about pronouns. But there's a gender war going on in the church, too. <laughs> in the church, yeah. Amongst God's people. In the churches and out of them. It's going on. And I believe that one of the reasons it's going on is because we're so hung up on gender these days. We're hung up on male and female. We're hung up on... Jew and Gentile were hung up on slave or free. In Galatians chapter 3, Paul said that in Christ, there is neither Jew nor Gentile. There is neither slave nor free. There is neither male nor female. And if you're in Christ... Why are you still seeing things in that way? Why is everybody still talking about Israel like there's two different Israels of God? There's not. If you think that you can be a part of God's Israel apart from Christ, I think that you don't know Christ at all. It doesn't matter whether you're Jew or Gentile. What matters is you're either in Christ or you're not in Christ. And if you are, stop calling yourself a Jew. Stop calling yourself a Gentile. Stop calling yourselves male or female, man or woman. It says all are sons of God. Not daughters and sons. It says all are sons of God. In the very next chapter in Galatians, in Galatians chapter 4, Paul spoke of Hagar, the bondwoman. 
And he said that she was symbolic of Mount Sinai and Jerusalem that now is. He said that almost 2,000 years ago. Jerusalem that now is. I'm pretty sure that's the one over in the Middle East, the one that everyone is enthralled with still. The true Israel of God is those who are in Christ Jesus, and apart from Christ, they are not a part of the family of God. And if Hagar, it says, is symbolic of the, new, the uh, Jerusalem that now is, whose children are in bondage with her still, I see so many believers that seem to be so in bondage with the Jerusalem over in the Middle East. And I know, I'm probably going to get shout down on this one. But then it goes on to talk about Sarah. She's the mother of the seed of promise to Abraham and her. And it says she's symbolic of, and this is the way Paul says this. He says this to the brethren in Christ. She is symbolic of the new Jerusalem the mother of us all. That same new Jerusalem that the angel of the Lord showed John in the book of Revelations and said, come with me, I'm going to show you the Lamb's wife. And he showed him the new Jerusalem descending down from heaven. The new Jerusalem is the mother of us all who are brethren in Christ, who are sons of God. I'm not saying I'm complete or you're complete yet. But the scripture even says that God said those that he foreknew, he predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, the Lord Yeshua HaMashiach. So we're being conformed into the image of his son. Why? Because we're part of the body of Christ, those of us who are. Those of us who are truly brethren, those of us who have truly dropped Jew and Gentile have dropped slave and free and we've dropped male and female and we've gotten past the, the gender and the different stereotypes and we've realized that we are all sons of God in Christ, brethren and joint heirs with Yeshua HaMashiach. And that's the truth that should be taught right now. The truth that I'm sharing with you right out of Scripture, this is something that's been largely left out of the traditional doctrines of men. And it needs to be put out there. We need to remember who we are. We need to break free from the traditions of religion and government and so on. I see so many people still rooting for things to turn around in this country and in others, politically, governmentally. Why? Why? All of this was spoken of in the scriptures about the last day. All of it's going to be fulfilled. And I pray that it comes quickly, no matter what it looks like to us. I pray that God brings about the consummation of all wickedness quickly. Because I want his government. I don't want the governments of man anymore. Is there anybody out there that isn't just tired and worn out of the governments of man? They always lead the same place. They never bring peace. There is always conflict and a struggle for power and money. But in Christ's kingdom and his government, that struggle doesn't exist. In his government, there is peace. I heard a man say the other day on a short video, he said, there are so many Christians out there praying against God's will. Oh, please, you know, Lord, slow this down and stuff and take things back the way they were and restore our government. I don't want him to restore the governments of man. I have no interest in that at all. I have seen a lifetime, as all of you have, of the corruption of the governments of man. And I pray 
I pray that God will help you to break free from the traditional teachings of man and that you will immerse yourself in the scriptures and in prayer and cry out to God for him to lift the veil off of your eyes and make you to know the truth, that he will guide you in all truth, that he'll expose every lie because the world is full of lies. We have been lied to about so many things our whole lives. And I, like many, we believe those lies for a long time. We don't have to anymore. The truth is being revealed. The lies are being exposed. You're not going to get there. You're not going to know the truth by watching the same old and listening to the same old traditional lies of men, whether it be in government or religion or whatever it is, in medical and social. Wake up. Open your eyes and open your ears. Cry out to God to make you to know the truth because it will truly set you free and it will set you free from traditions of men. Those traditions will not bring you to the truth. Only Jesus Christ will. I thank you all for your time and I hope that you have a blessed day in the Lord. I love you all.